Hey, it's Michael Rosso for the Film Photography Project, and today I'm here to talk about Polaroid Pack Film Photography. I would call today's YouTube video tips. These are Polaroid tips of how to squeeze the most fun out of your pack camera. And here I have a Polaroid 420 pack camera. This is known as the uh, Polaroid Automatic Land Camera. There are many, 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 many models of this camera. And they're all very, very good. So re regardless of which one you have, you could still squeeze the same amount of fun out of it. So today's tip is how exactly do I get grindy borders on my Polaroid prints? It's all in the peeling. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And at the same time, give you a second tip, which is the concept, the idea of using an off-camera flash with your Polaroid land camera. Here is a circa 1990 Starblitz handheld flash unit. These are kind of hard to come by, but if you keep your eye on eBay, it's uh, really an awesome, awesome item. And it has a PC cord, which means that you could use this particular flash with just about any Polaroid land camera. Here is the PC cord. It goes in the PC input. I'm going to shoot John. I lightened it up a little bit. That means when I fire the flash, the shutter will stay open so you can kind of have fun with your photography. After the flash fired, the shutter remained open because I had opened up the exposure a little bit. So I started shaking the camera a little bit. And what that will do is blur out the background. And hopefully there will be enough of an impression on the film with the flash so that you have a crisp, sharp person in the foreground. We're going to find out. So here we are. In order to get the grindy border, it's all in the peeling. It's as simple as that. It's all in the peeling. Normally, you would take your print and you would peel the print off of the backing here. Nope, don't do that. Put your finger in here. Split the paper like that. OK, open it up. Now instead of peeling the print from there, peel the print from here so this part stays on the picture. Here we go. See that? Now the grindy border is staying on the photograph. Look at that. Woo. Woo. It's all an experiment. Now, I shook, I, I must admit, I shook a little too much with this particular picture, and I feel that this particular shot is a little bit better, in my opinion. But opinions vary when it comes to this type of photography. It's whatever is fun, whatever makes sense. If John was making a funnier face, this would have been like a weirder, odder picture. I did the same type of technique uh, this past week when I visited the Smooth Sailors Band in their rehearsal space. And here are a few images from that. So that's my tip of the day to get grindy borders and the concept idea that you could use a off-camera flash for your Polaroid film photography. Uh, my name is Michael Rosso. You can hear me on the internet radio show, Film Photography Podcast, filmphotographypodcast.com. You, <laughs> you can send me an email at filmphotographypodcast at gmail.com. And I am always here to talk to you about your Polaroid photography. Until next time, have some fun, and we'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs>